Many Idaho voters want access to primary elections regardless of their political affiliation. I'm your downtown Boise neighborhood reporter Riley Shoemaker where people from all over the state gather to present signatures in favor of open primaries. Vote yes on open primaries. <laughs> Tens of thousands of signatures from across the state of Idaho making their way up the state house steps to the Secretary of State's office. These boxes filled with petitions signed by supporters for open primaries and ranked choice voting in Idaho, fighting to get the initiative on the November ballot. I think the closed primary system uh, has a couple of negative effects. One of them is that it encourages people running for office to focus on just uh, activating their base. Idaho currently has closed primaries, meaning political parties can restrict access during primary elections to allow only those registered with their party. And that excludes over 250,000 voters registered as independent. The citizen-led group, Idahoans for Open Primaries, must get over 63,000 voter signatures for the initiatives to make it on the November ballot. We got all of our signatures in required by law what we had to do to get this on the ballot and uh, we're having kind of a party to celebrate the fact we did it. We reached out to the Attorney General's office and they declined to comment but Idaho News 6 previously reported that Attorney General Labrador outlined in a letter to the Secretary of State that he intends to sue if the initiative makes it through the final steps. But supporters for the open primary initiative say it's about giving power to all voters. This is how it used to be. We all worked together for what was for the best, not for the party. He worked for what was for Idaho. That's what I saw on the steps today. A lot of people, a lot of different walks of life, a lot of people saying this is going to be better for Idaho. Now, supporters of the initiative tell me that this fight is not over once the issue is on the ballot. They still need people to vote yes in favor of open primaries. We will continue to follow this story as we get closer to the November election. I'm your downtown Boise neighborhood reporter, Riley Shoemaker for Idaho News 6.